still a long time no see speak whatever you want to call it um i have decided to make a video today partly because it's been a while and partly because i feel quite different to how i did the last time i um, made a video and my winter sad has kicked in and um, I suppose I wanted people to know how subtle it is and how it affects people and some some people might have it and not even realize now I can tell when mine starts to kick in because I want to stay indoors more it starts to get colder and colder Oh, please excuse the dogs, just as soon as I want to, yeah, as soon as I want to do this, make a video and be serious, they want to just piss about and unmake the bed for me. Um, yeah, you want to stay in more, well, that seems pretty natural, you know, it's cold outside, it might be snowy, it is at the moment. Um, but. I find myself taking preference to my home probably even more than I should. You know, things that I have previously enjoyed doing seem like a real, oh, I have to really weigh it up. Do I want to do that? You know, I've always, I've always enjoyed seeing people. I always enjoy company. More often than not, when I make the effort and I go out and I see people and socialise, I'm glad that I did, but it's actually getting out the door. You know actually making myself go and do it and um, the next phase of my depression is wanting to sleep more now this has been creeping up on me for about <laughs> three maybe four weeks where it starts with getting up in the morning um, as normal but feeling less you're not springing out the bed you're kind of dragging yourself maybe you've started to hit snooze where you don't normally that's what I do I start snoozing whereas I used to I quite often used to get up before the alarm even went off because dogs would wake me or I'd just wake up and think oh well I might as well get up and um, We'll find a comfy spot in a minute. Fucking hope so. Just fucking lay down. <sighs> yeah, so the sleeping more. Um, and I would get up and I'd do my usual things, you know, I would get the kids off to school, college, make sure they're sorted, I'll have had one or two cups of tea. And then it starts to sink in because of my agoraphobia. Um, I don't have a job, I don't work. And now before I used to be able to find, you know, ways of keeping myself busy. You know, you do the housework, you do the garden, there's certain people that I can go and visit, you know, um, my mum's retired, I could go and see her. Um, my sister works um, close by, you know, I would see her, sometimes she'd come over for lunch or whatever. And I'd just do bits and bobs. Well, yeah, that stopped happening. And I would sit there and think, do I really want to go and do that? Do I really want to go and do this? And so I would think it's cold, the house, the heating timer will have clicked off and I think, oh, I'm cold. I'm gonna go and get back in bed, just briefly, you know, I'll, I'll play on my phone, I'll be awake, I'll just, I'll just get in bed just to warm up. Before you know it, you've fallen asleep. So you have maybe two hours or something. And then you wake up and you're back where you started because you think, what am I gonna do today? And then you feel guilty because you've wasted the day. So then you're even more likely to wanna get moving and get out and do stuff 
and so then I'd find that I would mooch around and I'd still be in pyjamas, you know, early afternoon and thinking, well, there's not much point in getting ready now. You know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to see anyone. And quite often I would only have a shower because I think, oh, the kids will be home from school and they'll be thinking, why is mum still in her pyjamas? So that started to happen. And... I just I just look forward to when I can go to bed but of course because you've had a sleep in the day then you're not tired enough to go to bed at the usual time so then your bedtime starts getting later and later which then again leads on to finding it hard to get up in the morning you know um, it's just a, a cycle vicious cycle which you know I'm sure when you're feeling chipper can be easily remedied but when you just feel like what is the point in everything and anything you know like housework I think to myself what is the point the kids don't care uh, no one really comes around that often the lounge is respectable okay my bedroom looks like a bomb's gone off in it bathroom hmm it seemed been better um, and so I you know and then you look out the window and it's gray and it's windy and you know pelting down and you just think oh god walking the dogs in this they're not going to enjoy it my dogs hate getting wet and it just becomes a big, long, miserable... <sighs> but what I was going to say is it's subtle because quite often the people around you won't notice because once you've actually made that effort to go out... For example, today, I promised someone who... Someone's been signed off work, a friend of mine, because she's not been very well. So I promised her I would go and see her. So um, it meant that I couldn't do my usual get up get the kids sorted and whatnot, and then go back to bed. I had to stay awake. So straight away, my body's craving a little bit more sleep. I thought, no, no, I've promised I'll go. And then the anxiety starts to kick in a bit because you think, for me, she lives in the next town. So although it's not far, I think it's about, I don't know, eight miles or something, that's out of my comfort zone. So that's gonna require me to take some medication all the medication side effects is sleepiness <laughs> so anyway I, I went to go and see her and you know it was very nice and it's lovely to see her as always and then she suggested after I'd been there a couple of hours she suggested maybe we went into the local town and do some shopping and I thought I'd much rather go home and go to bed you know I'd seen her I'd done my bit and as much as I, I probably would have enjoyed going shopping, I just thought it's cold, I don't want to be walking around the shops. I just rather would go home and go to sleep. So that's what I did. You know, I drove home thinking I could go and get some Christmas bits. Um, you know, I could do this, I could do that, I could go and get myself a coffee. In fact, I did go and get myself a coffee um, and thought, yeah, perhaps I'll, I'll get a coffee and when I get in, I could walk the dogs. Well, I drank half the coffee, I got home, it was cold, I put the heating on. And I got in bed and I slept for about two and a half hours. So this is why I look a bit bedraggled because I've been asleep for two and a half hours and I get up and the kids are back and you know oh what's for dinner and all of that and then we're back in just to the same where I'm thinking right I've got to cook dinner kill a few more hours of being awake before I can go to sleep again. So I'm sure my friend who I saw today thought I was chipper. You know, everything's fine, normal, I've come out, I'm happy, I'm smiling, you know. But actually, I, I, am, I am feeling depressed and flat. But I keep it to myself. Because I know that there's nothing anyone can really do. No one can miraculously make the weather improve. No one can miraculously cure my anxiety and what have you. And sunshine just makes me feel better. I, I want to be out and doing more. I have more energy when there's sunshine. And there isn't going to be any sunshine for quite a few months. So I just have to get through this period. And I don't enjoy the Christmas period. That's a whole nother story. Um, so, yeah, just be kind to people who have depression. They're not lazy. It does, it does frustrate me that... I even, in, even the little voice in my head constantly tells me I'm lazy. Maybe I am lazy, I don't know. But I do think it is just that I've reached that, that low point where my head is above water. You know, 
I'm not at the stage where, you know, I see no point in anything, but I'm just scraping by. So if anyone's feeling the same or if they have any helpful tips and ideas, um, not a sad lamp because that's not, it doesn't work for me. Um, yeah, I, I'd love to hear from you and sorry if I've rambled and the dogs have <laughs> been annoying, but hey, that's dogs. So yeah, take care. Hope you're all okay.